Water operators play a significant role in ensuring a community's water system is producing safe, clean drinking water. It is imperative they receive the support they need to do the job of improving and maintaining the water system in order to keep the community safe. The most important thing is recognizing that the keepers of the water of your community are justly honoured. Um, it's not a job that's easy to do. It takes a special person to do it. Uh, the, the people that are the water keepers are so vital to the community and so important and we need to honour them and recognise that they're there to do a, a good job. One of the big things, and I've, I've always uh, been an advocate of this, is uh, one of the best supports that they can get is from their chief and council. But if they don't have the chief and council and administration support throughout their, their training and that uh, I don't think they'll be able to train effectively or even have a commitment to take the training and complete it. The need for clean water in First Nations communities has become overwhelmingly evident. Instructors and First Nation water operators alike have voiced the opinion that it is crucial to have Bannon Council support to ensure that their communities have clean, reliable drinking water. Water treatment is going to be the way of the future and training water treatment operators not only to have the sort of certifications that I have as a water treatment plant operator that says I've got my level one or my level two, um, but they wanted some educational uh, background to it now. Currently, through a process of standardization and water operator certification, INAC and Bannon Council are working together to ensure quality water will be available in First Nation communities. It was under the initiative of the bands in our area that put in this wonderful water treatment plant um, south of Burns Lake, south of Francois Lake, that also has uh, helped the non-native uh, communities as well. You have to be very conscious of, of the activities in the community um, and uh, making making sure that your your political parties are are aware that it's very important to protect our water systems. Without the support of Bannon Council, a water operator will have a difficult task of developing and implementing a well-run water system. They have to have Bannon Council support. Uh, if they do not have Bannon Council support, and they have to realize that this is an important field, they have to realize that you know fundage has to be put forth to make sure that uh, water is good for their community, and unless the you know the people are trained properly and the people uh, are taking it seriously, it's you're just going to fight a losing battle. Mm -hmm. Don't let anything stand in your way. Don't don't doubt yourself. Be sure of yourself. You're entering into a field where you're not only government's asking a lot out of you, the band office is asking a lot out of you, or the band will make it hard for you, but you have to try and overcome that. Training to become a certified water operator can be at first daunting. However, with the help and support of the band and council, a water operator can be rest assured that the pursuit to become a well-trained water operator is an integral part of the community's well-being.